Boom! <laughs> hey, everybody! It's Sunday. Oh, that sounds strange. That does. I never stream on a Sunday. Well, not until the evening, anyway. But this is kind of a, a, a special one. This is kind of like a, well, I normally say a part two, but seeing as this is kind of like a versus, this is more of a round two, in all honesty. And the beauty of this is it's kind of Monkey Kid versus Ninjago in a kind of tongue in cheek kind of way. So for anybody who's just tuning in, um, you know what? You might want to see the first stream that relates to this stream. Uh, and if you're interested to know where you'll find that details out, if I think about it, I should put a card up there if you're watching this on, uh, on replay. But just for speed, you'll find it down in the description below. Uh, and so we, we uh, this is a, this is a this is kind of round two, like I said, uh, and it involves two people, not just me. It involves someone else. Of course, this is called London Tech. So the only other person in the entire multiverse of Lego YouTubers that that could relate to is, of course, my good friend Thomas, aka Tech Pro Productions. Morning, every guys. Uh, every guys. Morning, every everyone. Guys. No, <laughs> afternoon, every. Right, that was right. I think you let it slip there. Valentine's <laughs> Day. Uh, <laughs> afternoon, slip. everyone. Happy Valentine's Day was what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah. All the folks out there, happy Valentine's Day from Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for choosing to spend it with us. And if you've got a missus, then God help you later. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and yeah happy valentine's day folks um if you love lego if you love ninjago and if you love monkey kid blimey you're in the right place this is it this is the place to be so yeah this is a this is a strange time uh for us to stream uh and, and you know what what it, the, the reason we're doing this kind of impromptu stream folks is uh simply down to the fact that we're going to finish the building them off anyway today so it's like well we've we just, may, we just might as well put, uh, you know, put the camera on and start streaming it again. So it kind of works out. It works out for anyway for a good couple of hours that we can do this. So so anyway, let's say hello to uh, our, our peeps out there in chat. Then. We've got Sai O'Connor. Hello, Sai O'Connor. Lovely to see you here, mate. Um, oh, God. Titanium J52 is here. We've got Americans in, uh, Thomas. Well, can, you, can you believe that? I can't believe it. Probably it's 8 o'clock in the morning in America. What? Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, I guess about eight o'clock really is too early, is it? I mean, it's early, but it's not ridiculous. It's early for me. It's early for <laughs> look, 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 he looks like he's just, he's, had, he's been out all night, he has. Um, <laughs> anyway, anyway this, uh, one thing I want to get out of the way. See, I wore this top for continuity. Um, Thomas has decided to wear something that resembles a Dalek. I thought that was a Dalek, folks. <laughs> what do you think? I think that looks like a Dalek uh, wearing sunglasses. Uh, but apparently, it's something very different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is yeah, it Thomas? it's a it's a helter skelter so basically that like, the village that i live in has a quite a big music festival uh called truck festival um and yeah it's a jumper from the from the festival uh but it's a helter skelter it's like a little tp camp thing and then like a big dj boombox thing so this is their logo that they went with for the uh for the year so yeah just uh, it's got all the i think it has all the artists and the set lists and stuff on the back as well but uh, yeah it does yeah. i still think what do you think folks i still say that looks like a dalek with a great big smile wearing sunglasses i don't know I can't, now i've seen it i can't not see it but that's, that's me all over that is folks i probably need to go to spec savers and have an eye test <laughs> um, but anyway yeah i uh, we've got cd bricks in the house we've got lego madness hello lego madness uh we've got the awesome uh, brick witchery as well hello brick witchery um, I've only just come across your channel, Brick Witchery, uh, and that was from my good pal, Sai O'Connor, saying, oh, yeah, yeah, you need to get over there. She does some really cool stuff. So um, it's lovely that you're over here with us as well. This, uh, this uh, I, I keep thinking it's this morning. It's this morning in America, uh, and it's just literally uh, the cusp of the afternoon here uh, in the United States of Kingdom. <laughs> so anyway, great to have you here. We've got Mama Lego out there as well uh, saying good morning, Sai. Yeah, welcome. Uh, if you guys got any questions or anything like that, oh, I think Victoria Fisher's just popped in as well. Victoria, hello. What do you think of doing, doing, doing a stream at this time of day? Because there just isn't many people out there doing a stream at this time of day. So I kind of thought, well, you know, why not? Uh, I, I tech, tech's going to be, uh, I mean, tech, tech can't can't do later on this afternoon or this evening, folks, because he's got to be, he's going to be spending all that time opening up his Valentine's Day card. <laughs> and he's got to reply to them. And, and, and you know, for, for someone as um, hot, and as good looking as this guy, um, you know, uh, I mean, today's a bit questionable, but that aside, uh, ordinarily speaking, uh, he's, uh, 
you get a coach here. Right? Um, I just say that. Look at this. Look, look at that for a hairstyle. Folks. Look, I say hairstyle. I say that in the loosest possible terms. All I can say is thank God for baseball caps and thank goodness I didn't jargo baseball caps. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, they need to start the monkey kid, uh, monkey kid apparel. I'll be all over that. Oh, yeah, this is true. Actually. Are you going to go for a monkey kid hairstyle or something? Oh, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I do like the um, where's the figure? I do like the uh, the whole bandana look. I do have a few bandanas. Oh, there we go. See, yeah, I'm liking that. Is it? Yeah, you got the. I'm I'm sure you've got big headset like that as well. Yeah, uh, like yeah, I do. Yeah, I got my Beats. Yeah. Fantastic <laughs> for this time of year, folks. It keeps your ear rolls warm. That's uh, headphones like that. The, the, the bug ones. Forget about them. We're, put, we're the biggest headphones you can. It's so cold out there today. You get icicles on your earlobes. It's a nightmare. It really is. Uh, we've got Bricky Ty out there. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Bricky Ty, hello, mate. Um, right. So yeah, I, I, do you know, what? I was also thinking, uh, like I could do like a London Eye or something like that this time of day on a Sunday, sort of within the lead up to Brick Hive's awesome stream that kicks off at three. Um, but yeah, there, there's people out there this time of day, uh, unbelievably uh, Americans as well, which is kind of really, really cool. Um, and yeah, a happy Valentine's Day to all you lovely lego people out there um it's crazy but true isn't it eh? and i got uh, I, I got so uh, if you check out my uh, actually let me show you it here because it, it said you have to go to instagram anyway i'll just show you um what my wife my lovely wife got me valentine's day uh there we go let's go here let's take a look let's do a nice one wouldn't figure this for the folks i think uh oh, there we go yeah boom there we go i'll just put it on bigger screen and i'll show you this what do you think about this then, so, uh Tech? I should put it on solo for oh, a second. Yeah, see that, yeah. I got a similar card like that for my birthday. There, yeah, there <laughs> we go. I love those. <laughs> Look at that. Who says love? Uh, this is, so the random thing was, folks, this is, this is true. I give you my absolute word on this. So my wife bought me this book, right, where we just clicked. I actually bought the same book for her, but, um, uh, but Amazon, bless their cotton socks, uh, they've lost it in the post. So... Uh, <laughs> I've got, I said, I've got a refund for that because it's not worth having two of them. And he says, love, <laughs> this love is dead, eh? <laughs> 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 great, the rice bought one already for me. Um, great, great minds and all that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's uh, right. <laughs> uh, Victoria Fish as well. Until I saw it on Instagram, Greg, laugh out loud. Yeah, honestly, uh, we would have had two of those, but my wife got me that card, honestly. It's, it's brilliant. It's, it's the best one of that card. I've seen, I've seen a few different ones. I really have. Yeah. Um, so it kind of says that's so cool. It really is an insight. Honestly, I put a big smile on my face. I got my I got my wife quite a funny card as well, which which was hilarious. But yeah, we went out for a lovely stroll, and then we got back, and I hadn't had breakfast yet or anything like that. So the last sort of forty five minutes, folks, it's it's, oh, it's been it's been, it's been lightning speed. It really has. I'm surprised <laughs> I have even got any clothes on because it, it was getting dressed and eating a sausage sandwich at the same time. Which, believe me, for for a guy that can't really do too many things at the same time. Is he's uh, is quite incredible. I feel, I feel like I've done a, a, the whole of the Olympics or something like that. Like a <laughs> um, there we go. It's all, it's all fun and games, isn't it? So, um, do you want to give us a? Do you want to tell us where you're at at the moment with your build? Uh, so Tom? I'm literally on the last bag, but I do have a decent sticker sheet that I'm going to go through and do. I've also got the figures to build, um, so that's the sticker sheet that I've still got to apply. So there's a fair few stickers on there to do. Um, I'll take my time doing that because there's a. Uh, there's some really nice stickers that I think are really going to enhance the set. But, um, yeah, so I'm on the last bag. There's another little uh, side build, May's little speedboat to build. Um, this is the boat so far. And, honestly, it's a, it's huge. I think it's, like, the ultimate kid's play set. But it's also, once the stickers are all on, going to display so well. Mm. Uh, I think it's going to look really good. The way it just opens up, I would have had tons of fun with this as a kid um I'm just pulling it out and you can like take different sections off i'll go through it properly um once it's all done and once we uh do the review uh, over on my channel but yeah this is just uh it's just wicked just some of the part usages just like the, the little things like the tires on the chains there um the little roller coaster piece for the ladder um yeah just so many so many little little cool part usages the uh inverted um uh rotation piece as like the little air vent there i think that was really wicked um and yeah and you've got the hidden i do like this 
you've got at the front here. I can pull that up. You got a hidden uh, stud shooter. You turn the wheel there. Oh, and nice. Fire all the stud shooters out. So yeah, there's there's plenty to uh, explore on this set. Um, and yeah, 160 pounds does sound quite expensive, but I do think there is good value for it in there. It does look good value for it. It's 2,000 pieces roughly, isn't it? Yeah, just shy of 1959, I think, something like that. Okay. 1969, something like that. Um, but yeah, some big, some big panel pieces as well. So um, yeah, I love the like industrial look of it. But once all those stickers on, like I said, I think it's going to give that Asian, Asian vibe. Um, and I think it'll really, really bring it to life. Yeah. So this is where I've got to on my one, folks. Um, this is more of a classic ship, more classy. Uh, this is put it this way right if i was if i was going on the woolwich ferry here in london i'd be probably quite at home on an old tugboat um that said if i if i if i wanted something a bit classy i'd go for like a, a more classic looking ship uh i think if there's any pirate fans out there um <laughs> uh, i.e rogue, rogue runner um they might appreciate this one uh which is uh, more of your classic style kind of uh clipper ship i suppose there we go let me hold that up to you look at that i mean that is beautiful is it not that is wonderful uh, and at the moment, uh, I've kind of built all the interior down there. I've built, uh, built the top section there um, with uh, all the chains and everything like that for the anchors. Uh, look, you can even do, I've even got fishing boats there. One, one of them's a bit bent. It looks like he's got a big carp on the end of it or something like that. Uh, and I've got the, the bag seven. I'm on bag eight now. Um, I built this section here, which was a really interesting build with ball joints at each end. So you've got a ball joint there. Uh, and up this end here, you've got a ball joint there as well. But looking at the back there with that telescope, you can see that's going to look pretty cool um, from the back. Uh, and I've got this section here, uh, some, some sort of thruster. Um, titanium, I don't know if you know exactly what these are called. I'm, I'm calling them some sort of um, flying rudder or something like that. I'm not quite sure what they are on the uh, on the Destiny's bounties. But the Destiny bounties, I don't know, folks, you could put a few pirates on there and they're not right at home, I think. But yeah. there we go. And, that, and that's so that's where I'm at there uh, with with the with this one. And we are going to I mean, I'm going to try my best to finish it, folks. But you know what I'm like. It's uh, <laughs> it, it's it, it's easier said than done. Uh, put it that way. So anyway, I'm on bag eight. There's, there's 14 bags. We'll, we'll have a we'll basically be chin wagging all we can uh, with you lovely lot out there. And uh, and yeah, this is quite an impromptu one, folks. So we, we yesterday we didn't start the first stream thinking oh, we'll, we'll finish it off tomorrow. We're just so into it that we just want to finish them off. Yeah. And then we're, doing, we're going to do the review next weekend, next Saturday, because I'm still feeling a bit under the weather, in all truth, folks. And <clears throat> and then the real review will come out um, in due course. We'll, we'll let everybody know via Instagram and all that. Uh, all that malarkey. You know what it's like. Um, but, yeah, we've got some cool figs out there. So, brick witchery, fantastic. Looks absolutely gorgeous so far. It does. Yeah. Um, but, anyway, enough about me. Uh, what about what about the what about the Lego? <laughs> 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 um, it says, uh, Bricky T. White. It says, Greg, why don't you build the, uh, the bounty next to the Pirate 3? Yeah, I, do you know what? I would like to do that, funny enough, as it happens. Um, I, I do fancy. I, I, I tell you what, Bricky T. White, you're, you're going to be shocked. Well, you might already know, but I've bought a boat this week, another boat. Um, and you can thank uh, Adora Builds and the Plastic Architects for that. But there'll be a stream coming up uh, second week of March, folks. And it's, um, I'm just throwing it out there so you know, it's a, it's a stream. There's a whole bunch of YouTubers going to be joining me on this one uh, uh, for, from anywhere from California to Australia, Western Australia as well. So we're literally 16 hours of a day uh, are going to be involved in this. And we're going to be streaming friend sets. And people are going to be involved in that. It's obviously me because I've hosted it. I've got to be there. Uh, Thomas, uh, Lego Architect, uh, the, the Plastic Architect, Sio Connor is going to be in there, and uh, Matt Elder. And there's going to be a whole bunch of us. It's going to be a really fun stream. And uh, I'm just letting you know now because um, I don't think I've ever seen a bunch of YouTubers do friend sets before. But mm -hmm. anyway, uh, that's the clue as to the set that I'm going to be building on that. I'll throw some pictures out there on Instagram later on in the week as well. So, Ricky T. White says, oh, my God, Greg, you bought a friend set. I have. I tell you what, Ricky T. White, you will be impressed, my friend. You will be impressed. I'll give you my word on that. I'll give you my word. It is impressive, most mm -hmm. impressive, as uh, as uh, Mr. Vader once said. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got, uh, we've got Roland uh, Davishi in hand. Hello, London Bridge Bricks. Uh, hello, Tech. Hey, dude. 
Good to have you. It's great to have you all here. It really is, folks. I, I, I'm amazed how many people how many people are out there still uh, this time of day. But uh, lots of friend sets for the granddaughter. Yee. <laughs> That's what I'm having. So yeah, yeah, it's, it'll be my first journey into the wibbly wobbly world of friends, and I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, folks, um, while you're here, if you if you if you're new to London Bridge Bricks, you know. You may want to consider subscribing. Uh, of course, please do subscribe to my good friend over here, uh, Tech from Tech Productions. And uh, if you could do me one little favor, just give us a thumbs up. That'd be great. Thank you very much. And um, I will be starting on bag eight now. I'm going to be kicking off. I've got a lovely, great week. Um, actually, do you want do you want to show the show the peeps out there, Thomas? Your um, your instructions. Yes. So these are, I just the attention to detail on some of these is really really cool. So um let me start at the beginning of the bag so just generally the whole art style and like the, the, the graphics on this are just really nice so you get a nice the bag opening thing just like little details like that um and tells you the extra piece you need you've got this progress bar across the bottom if you can see that with the monkey gear walking through so it tells you how far you've got to go left on the instructions so that's really nice. And just behind all the characters, which ones look, on that one, you've got like the animations and the, the stars, just little things like that. Um, and then when you go to put stickers or, or when you're like turning things around or you've got stickers to put on, you get MK there with little art, just just different things like that. It's just, uh, it just makes the whole building experience a lot more pleasurable. It's those, uh, those little details that, um, that Lego put in that just uh, just yeah really make it quite enjoyable. This mm. is the first set as well that I think I've seen human fingers in. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry, did you say you got human fingers in your human Lego? like pictures of human fingers in? Oh, in the instructions. I thought mean, literally you got a human finger in it. I thought, oh, <laughs> that's, not, right? that's a but, bit unhealthy. Um, but just, but like on that pit, like I don't think I've ever seen them actually take photographs of like real real human fingers to uh to do the to show the actions i don't know i might be completely getting that wrong but um yeah. i'd be interested to know if anyone else has had that um had that before but <clears throat> i've certainly never seen it before mate no I, I i haven't so it's uh yeah it's quite a surprise but i will say one thing titanium j uh, you really do need to get this set. It, this is a gorgeous set. I, I'd say the minifigures aren't the best minifigures. They're a bit bland, I just think, but that's the outfits they wore. That said, I got this. There's this lovely one of um, Nia. I think Nia looks great. She does. Let me just pop her head on properly. Um, I don't like these. Um, <clears throat> I don't like their, their scarves that they have underneath their chins. But I will say mm -hmm. this, this Nia figure uh, looks really nice. Let me just see if I can make that bigger. And uh, ooh, here we go. Let's do that. Uh, there we go and it might zoom in it might not there we go let's go over this way there it is there she looks good and i think she's got it's got a nice emblem on the back as well now if that zooms in we'll just get there there we go there you can see that looks quite good doesn't it and master Wu looks really good everyone else is just a bit i don't know a bit bland but then this is a three-year-old set <clears throat> master Wu looks like he's just literally walked out of the movie you know, he's fantastic I like it that's a pretty cool Wu. Mm -hmm. Woo <laughs> so we asked this question yesterday um guys what we felt was um who do we think would win a, would win a, a, a karate fight uh, out of master Wu or <laughs> monkey kid and everyone seems to think master Wu would probably win uh, but, but master Wu may lose against monkey king um yeah he's a bit of a god isn't he he's, he's kind of like a bit of a demigod sort of thing so yeah Immortal, I think, is uh, is his brand. Is his brand immortal? His brand, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, he's going to be around for a long while. He's immortal. <laughs> hey, Will, <laughs> how you doing? And um, ah, Will, hello, mate. And Lego boy, he's just popped in, and someone else did as well, and T Mog as well. So, hello, guys. Hope your Sunday's yeah. going well. Some of you, it's very early, just beginning. So, appreciate you being up, chilling with us. <clears throat> Yeah, let us know, uh, guys, as well, if there's anything uh, you lovely lot out there are building as well uh, today. 
And tell us where you all are as well. Are you are you all East Coast for all of, all my you know American friends that are in like Titanium J fifty two. I know Titanium's East Coast, but is there anyone that in any other time zones? Let's know what country you all reside in. Because um, I know there's, there's obviously going to be a lot of UKers in uh, in the house and, uh, and Europeans, of course. Um, but I'm always interested to know who's around this time of day. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> this is this is a nice time of day for me to stream in all honesty. Yeah, uh, do you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like um, right. Let's make sure I do that properly. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did a stream just before Christmas about the um, the Reist, and I think I kicked off at about twelve. Um, and that was nice. It wasn't there wasn't loads of other people streaming, so there's a good good sort of turnout. The chat was nice and active. Yeah, I think people um, <clears throat> people were doing their sort of Sunday chores and just had it on in the background or whatever. So mm. yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite a nice time. But the, the thing is, as well though, um, like like say for example, um, uh, this is just. It's just kind of just useful to know who's around this sort of time of day, folks. But yeah, me when I do like London Eye, which is me, um, I'm quite happy, you know, with a handful of people watching, so I can interact with them quite nicely. Then it's it's not all about having like hundreds of people watching you or anything like that, which which is nice. Don't get me wrong, folks, but I, know, I do different. Like Thomas, we do different streams for different things, you know. Um, and today, it's like we're only going to be sitting in our own building these anyway. So it's like, well, we might as well go, go live and just start doing it. Um, exactly. You know. Morning, Claire. You're up early. Damn. No <laughs> way. What? Just, Blimey. It must be. Yeah. She says, just a quick hello and back to bed. <laughs> Don't worry. It's it. two o'clock in the morning in California. <laughs> Claire, oh, Claire. Claire, happy Valentine's Day. Yes. <laughs> oh. That's so nice of her to um, pop in. My God, I California. I never expected that. Yeah. That's well cool. I, I think she's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Five oh first is up in Scotland. This is bucketing him down. Yeah, I think we're going to get the rain later on this week. But the, the good thing about the rain is it brings in the warmer weather. Mm -hmm. so it's bloody freezing at the moment here in uh, London. It really is, but um, <clears throat> the nice thing about doing building Lego sets and stuff like that it completely takes your mind off of what's going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're you're, uh, you're going to be streaming later on this week, aren't you, Tech? Um, I'm hoping to. I'm hoping to. Yeah, I'm going to hope to get like a three thirty four o'clock stream in. I've got a couple of uh, Star Wars sets that. Um, that I need to build so I can start doing my army videos. So yeah, just be on the lookout. It's going to be a sort of day by day thing. So I think I do have a fair bit of work this week. But um, but yeah, so just be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of the ATAPs to build, so that's going to be good fun. And then uh, I think once I've done my droid army video um, in the run up to uh, the um, March first, I think I'm going to do some monkey kid streams. Um, and get some of these sets built because I am like super in love after building this yesterday. I was just looking at it yesterday for ages and just kind of opening up and looking at all the details and things. It's it's brilliant. But uh, but yeah, no, I just uh, <laughs> Ty called me out saying, "Careful with that sticker tech." Yeah, just done the first sticker and it was a big one, but I think I've done all right. Maybe a little bit. Show, show your sticker. <laughs> oh, that is good. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit, a little bit off center, but do you know what? It's it's straight. I think for the most part, yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah, I take my time on my stickers. I really do. Yeah. I can't do it on a live stream. But you think I'm a slow builder? Blimey, you want to see me applying stickers? <laughs> <laughs> I could do a wallpaper in quicker than I can apply a sticker. <laughs> you know um, anyway, no, it's, it's super to have you, lovely lot here. It really is, folks. Um, is. Which we says, uh, what a nightmare. I hate giant stickers. I don't mind bigger stickers. Bigger the sticker, the better. But the, I use um, hot soapy water when I'm applying my stickers. So the, the bigger, the better. Uh, smaller ones, I just, uh, well, to be honest, I just use um, I just use uh, like a sharp knife or the uh, uh, the brick separator. In all yeah, honesty, yeah, ones is brick separator. For yeah, me. yeah, that's cool for that. No Lego yeah. building for me today, Victoria. Calculus instead. Woo, that sounds intense. Um, uh, good afternoon, Roland. Oh, I didn't catch where Roland was from. Um, 
Yeah, I'm always, I'm always interested where, where people are from that tune in. But mm-hmm. uh, believe it or not, folks, uh, America is my, is my biggest following. And then it's Indonesia, which is a bit weird. But anyone from Indonesia tuning in, uh, good afternoon. And, uh, and then Mexico's third. I get a lot of Mexicans watching the Russians. Nice. Do you think that's because of the shorts? Um, it could be. I, 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 the, even the live streams, though, the live stream seems to put in quite a few Russian punters as well. Russian which is kind of cool. Uh, Lego Boy Titanium, uh, that's cold, but super cold for us. Yeah. Uh, we've got a cheeking look in the house where he goes, uh, he won't, uh, it won't get noticed because the whole piece is green that we're leaving. It's not too straight. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That is very true. And I'll Gee, I, I'm interested to know where you're, where, where you're from, my friend. Are you uh, are you UK uh, or US early morning, or are you uh, a bit more um, near? near I, I got family in Singapore, funny enough. So um, it's, yeah, I got I got an uncle who lives out there. I say my uncle; he's not my uncle. It's Je- uh, my wife's uncle uh, lives out there. But I got some good friends. Um, I got some good friends. Ah, oh, I love you too, mate. Uh, I got some good mates as well that work out there. Uh, that work for the firm that I work for, uh, and then the little. They'll be down the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! Yeah, Malaysia. Oh, do you know, uh, Chi, mm-hmm. I I really want to get to Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to do. Uh, I, I want to go to. I want to do a bit of an Asian run. I've been to a few places. I worked. I've worked in Hong Kong and Singapore, uh, but uh, I did. I didn't have time to sort of pop over uh, to anywhere else in Asia. Uh, I even tried to pop down to Australia. Um, it's not actually very far from uh, from that part of the world, which is awesome. I would like to have got there. But uh, and uh, sunny Ecuador, oh, fantastic. Um, but Malaysia, I do want to go to, because apparently Malaysia, oh, let's have a look at that. That's, that's Ninjago. Is it a Ninjago piece? I was going to ask TJ, yeah. if you knew, yeah, for the, the sort of hilt piece there. That's pretty cool. That's Ninjago, mate. That is. Well, look, I built this. I built this in the week. This is doing quite well, folks. It's, it's, it's my, been my biggest popping poly bag review that I've ever done. This here. It's, um, uh, it's not available yet. It's probably why it's doing so well. Um, mm. Unless, of course, you're just too good and you've just managed to get hold of all the latest Ninjago stuff. But that, that is it there on the back of the flag. Mm. Okay. It's a good little... Nice. It's a nice little set, folks. But, yeah, if you want to see that popping poly bag review, if you're interested in seeing it, uh, you'll find it down in the description below. That's quite handy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, Malaysia, uh, beautiful country, beautiful people. I know people, I know friends of mine that have got married over there, but they say, they always say the weather's beautiful and the food, the food is to die for. So one day I will be going there, my friend. I really will. Nice. Maybe I'll do a live stream over there or something like that. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I've been quite lucky. The last few places I've been to, I've still managed to do London Calling, even though I've been on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a laptop with me, folks. I can do anything. Laptop and good Wi-Fi. That's all you need. <laughs> that's commitment. I love it. That's the thing. I've, I've, I've never yeah, missed that. That's it. Well, the thing is, I, I do. I find it quite strange. But obviously, there's, there's going to be occasions when I really can't do it. And I, I nearly never did it on Friday, folks, because I was feeling so bad. I was like battered. I really was. <clears throat> and like I say, I feel all right. But I still feel a bit under the weather. But the nice thing is, when you're building Lego, girls and boys, uh, you kind of forget everything because you kind of get in the zone of building Lego. So, there we go. That's very cool. Yeah, well, I watched a lot of those. They were really cool. Um, just you did the vlogs in Japan. Uh, that was pretty cool to see. Yeah, he did some really cool stuff. He did like, um, even he, he did like the Pokemon Center tours and things like that. Um, I think he went to a Toys R Us in uh, in in Asia as well. So yeah, that was really really cool. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, he did a lot of good content from over mm. there. Yeah, I think he did. He split up with his girlfriend like about a year ago, and he just went. He went. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm going to Japan. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, he definitely went over there with some friends. I think um, coincidentally, the Mario stuff got released while he was over there. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was, that was some that was some good stuff. There. I like his reviews, though. He, he, mm-hmm. he, do you know what he 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 just shows you you don't really have to have the biggest setup going or anything yeah. like that to do it. Yeah, really don't. Uh, it so kind of got me more into just too good as well, uh, and. Um, just to mum, uh, yeah. she does some awesome content too. Yeah. 
So thank you for that, Sai. Do appreciate that, dude. Flip it up. I mean, let us know out there, folks, uh, what you're building at the moment. And if you've built any of either of these two sets, um, give us a shout. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, I'm just going to start putting the figures all together now. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Middle. Voila. Voila. How come you've kept your figures till last? I don't or know. I always keep the figures to the end. People ask me this, and I'm not sure why, but yeah, I always keep the figures till till the end. That's uh, interesting. Yeah, I it's quite know. a quirk. That is. Let us yeah. know out there, folks, if you've got any funny little quirks that you do. Yeah. I always, I never apply the stickers on a live stream. That's probably about as quirky as I get, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> and did they, did anyone get any Lego Valentine's Day gifts? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How far along are you with the build, Greg? I'm on bag. I'm finishing off bag eight now, uh, and there's uh, I've got about another five to do, so I'm not doing too bad. Um. <laughs> I will have. I stepped away from the computer for a minute. Uh, Will Harper says, yeah, I'm in a good mood as well, for some reason, so. <laughs> We've got Lego Boy out there. Yeah, no, it's a great build, but yeah, titanium, honestly, mate, you do need to get older. Even a second-hand one of these will still be good. Because mm -hmm. uh, you know what? There's plenty of people out there that build these sets, and they, they don't, like, you know, play with them or anything like that. You, you'll always find people selling stuff like that on eBay. Yeah. Um, you know, they said, like, they're adult collectors, and they just sort of build things. I think there's... Um, a rancor pit at the moment. Um, it might have gone now. I was kind of keeping an eye on it. Because um, I, I want to do like a bit of a project where um, <clears throat> I bought, I think it, it was off eBay. Yeah, it had to be off eBay because it came in the shoe box. Um, Jabba's Palace. And okay. it's got, I think it's like 95% there. And when oh. I bought it, I looked through it and that, and it looked pretty good. It was missing um, oh, Salacious Crumb. I bought him. And then that was all I ever did with it. And that was over a year ago, that was, though. So I might kind of do that as a mini sort of series, you know, a two-parter. This is kind of, this is the box. This is what's in it. This is what I need to do. And then I'll buy the stuff, you know, Britling orders. People always to be interested in that. And then uh, and then I'll put it together. So a bit of a restoration job. So, you know, um, let me know if you might be interested in seeing how that goes. Uh, re restoring Jabba's Palace to its former glory. <laughs> Make Jabba's Palace great again. <laughs> yeah okay so this is how you this is this is the design this is quite cool this is quite articulate um and this is how you get that curvature you've got a ball joint there and you've got the ball joint there uh and it kind of cur it just curves around the whole thing um and it's really clever very very clever good technique now as long as i've built it properly it, it should fit of course this is where we find that uh, i haven't and uh I think that's a bit pear shaped. Full going on this. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah, in you go. And you go as well. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> Eureka. There we go. There you go, folks. And that's how you get that side piece going on there, like that. It's strong, it's stable. It's very cool. I'm liking that. Works really well, doesn't it? The colours are nice. I've got to admit, the brown, the kind of reddish brown and dark red, uh, they work really well together. Yeah. yeah do. Like in that. Right, let's keep it going this side because I'm going to be building a, a little bit in and around all that. Uh, what we've got going on here? Uh, 
Chase so says, one day I will get it. Uh, I would honestly buy one now, but there's no point since I'm not at home. No, no, that's right, mate. Uh, just just grab it grab it when you, when you can. Uh, I think you'll love it. Um, Brick which we says, yes, uh, that would be so cool. I watched a similar video by Peter Pieces. And he recreated a set from Spare Parts, and it was really good. Yeah, and that's the thing. I, I was thinking of doing that for the Rancor pit as well, simply because all I've got to be able to do is buy the Rancor. I've got a friend that I always buy mini minifigure Star Wars figures from, so I can get them from him. I know he's got them as well. I don't think there was any particular special pieces in that Rancor pit. Maybe the, the, the big cage was, um, but, I mean, that's no biggie, is it? I mean, it, look, it actually looks like quite an easy set to put together. It looks like something in yeah. the early 90s that was built. There's nothing too major about it. Yeah, the um, the Rancor, I think, was the big attraction to that set. I don't think the build itself is anything too... Yeah. Uh, too complex or, or even too exclusive like you said yeah um, no I, I i agree he, he looks he looks really basic actually it's the yeah. sort of thing i could probably mock up <laughs> um uh, i tell you talking to weeks though someone who has definitely got the rank call uh it's good old brick house it's good morning builders happy love day to you all <laughs> hey, just, you, been, dude? just so you guys know when we, we it, the latest we'll be going is three o'clock in the uk time that's 10 a.m EST USA time. And then when we finish, folks, get yourselves over to Brick Hive because that's when he'll be kicking off. And uh, we've got uh, King Joe the Third. He goes, I'm here too. <laughs> Hello, King Joe. How are you doing? Happy Valentine's Day. Good to see you, mate. Kitty Y. Welcome, King. <laughs> yeah, just the gate. Yeah. Will Harper says the gate. I don't, I don't know how much the gate is, Will. Um, if anyone happens to know how much that gate is off the top of their head, let me know. I'm sure it can't be as expensive as the blooming uh, as the Rancor. No, no, I think the Rancor's teeth can chip quite easily, or like the print on the chip can uh, on the teeth can chip quite easy. Yeah, because he goes for about forty pounds. Yeah. I'll just plug something into there. That's it. Cool. Right, let's carry on. Do 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 do. Right, that's in, that's in, that's in. Let's go. Let's go. So tell us a bit about this new video of yours, uh, Thomas. So um, last night I was looking at um, the ATS Radar, so everyone knows about uh, the actress uh, of Cardoon. She got fired from Disney. We won't go into that for whatever reason, but... Um, but yeah, so the minifigure started increasing in price quite significantly. Um, and so as an investor, I was looking at potentially picking up some of the ATSC Raiders. We were talking about it on London Calling on um, on Friday night. And uh, I so I had some in my basket and I went to go buy them yesterday, but they had all sold out. Um, and I went to um, I went to have a bit of a shop around elsewhere and see if anywhere else had them in stock. And now Lego are the only place, at least in the UK, that have them in stock, which is uh, which is interesting. So everywhere else is sold out. Um, and I, it was only when I went on John Lewis that it seems that um, they won't be getting them back in stock. And as far as I was aware, they weren't due to retire, but that, because um, it's only been out just over a year, I think. Hmm um so yeah so it's interesting that i think that they've probably off of the back of the backlash pulled the set mm. so uh so yeah so if you if you uh if you if you either want to get the set because you don't have the figure yet or you want to get the set for for a bit of an investment then uh lego.com now and i think the max you can buy is two. Oh, um, really yeah oh. uh, all the promos are sold out as well so it's it's not the most um it's not the, uh, the the best of uh, of purchases in terms of value for money, especially as Amazon had it for like forty quid or forty two quid or whatever it was. But uh, but yeah, if you if you if you're desperate, then I would pick it up sooner rather than later because the set. I'm sure. Let's have a quick look on eBay now and see what what we're looking at for that set. I bet it's quite. Yeah, so I says he thought she would increase in price as well. Yeah. The second I saw that, that's the first thing I went and looked at was um was the price of the minifigure because I swear I looked a couple of weeks ago 
just generally looking at figures and she wasn't that expensive and then already at that point it was um it was well above um well how much above. how much is she going for at the moment i think in america it was something like 27 dollars let me now let me have a look and see if my um My help. Uh, also, her name again, Carla something, isn't it? Cara June. C A R A D U N E. D U N E. So yeah, so I think there will. Uh, I think there'll be an influx of. Uh... Also, as it, I just spell her first name. Cara, C A R A. Oh, okay, cool. No, guy, I get stuff from. Looks like he sold out of them. Mm -hmm. I've got one anyway because I've got the ATST Raider. So, yeah, yeah, I've I've already got it as well. So I, I'm not in any mad rush, but. Blimey, twenty seven dollars though. I mean, look, you might as well buy the you might as well buy the set if you can. Yeah, if I tell you what though, uh, eBay will be a good place to get them if there's any for sale at the moment, because yeah. their their prices will be relatable to what like a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I wonder why though. It's strange though, isn't it? That Lego is the only company that's actually still selling it you think they'd be the first one to pull the plug because they, they're yeah. licensing yeah you'd think so so i yeah it's a it's a bit of an interesting one um there is one on ebay at the moment 5250 uh with 385 shipping in the uk um I so. so i would jump on that because i think that after they will uh it will start to so send me the link in the chat <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, you can get it from Lego. You can get it for fifty quid. Uh, that will be free postage, and you get VIP points, so you can still. Oh yeah, so you better off getting it from there then. You, don't, you can still get it from there, but. Are you going? Are you going to pick up any as an investment? Um, I may or may not have made a purchase. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anyone. I'm not meant to be buying Lego this month. That's the thing, though, because you. you, you you didn't make a video as to why you broke your promise. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, so that's, you that's, YouTube. What's the matter with you? <laughs> so I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to do a video at the end of the month and like, because the main thing was personal collection. So this was more like an investment set. But uh, yeah. Uh, that's. Um... That's a good little set. I, I don't, I don't look at my wish. I got to look at my wish list and see what other ones. Are. Blimey, the corner garage is temporary out of stock. I don't is want it? That yeah. Um, the Flintstones are sold out. Mm. Uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay. I do want to buy that one day, folks. I really mm. do. Um, what else we got? The ah, oh, the blimey, you know, That's the other one I was thinking of getting. The Spring Lantern Festival. Uh, that's available. Uh, the ship in the bottle still there. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else is there that I fancy? Oh, I've got some of those. Yeah, what is it with Lego? You've got to spend, what is it, £50, isn't it, to get the, the free shipping? Yeah, is it 50 or Yeah. Let's have a look. Because they, they haven't got any deals on at the moment, have they? No, all the um, Year of the Ox promo is sold out. Oh, have they? God. Let's have a look and see if they've got any... Um... Ninjago, Ninjago. I really love their Ninjago stuff. Uh, they've, got, they've got those new ones. Uh, that's not a bad deal, actually. The, the MF set from Ninjago, 2019. Let's go for like seven quid. Okay. That's quite good. Uh, and of course, you could buy the, the attire from there as well. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I've got to spend one penny, folks. Uh, let's have a look, see what key rings they do. Key, key rings always seem to be quite good for them. But the tuck tuck, that's that's quite a good little one to get. Yeah, 
just put um just put a piece from pick a brick in there <laughs> yeah i didn't think of that does that work i'm assuming that works Yeah, let's have a look. Let's go to um, I, I think someone has just bought that um <laughs> that ATSD. Have they? <laughs> yeah. Hey, let us know if anybody in the chat has just bought that, let us know. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be a pretty sound investment. I know, definitely. Yeah, I kind of touched on it in my uh, in the in the video, but Lego minifigures are like reverse stocks. So usually, if like a company has like bad press or or something goes under or something controversial happens, usually stock prices absolutely plummet. Lego minifigures, something controversial happens, the it, the demand goes up and people want it. It's yeah, um so i think yeah that's uh that's always funny well i tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy the, the thing is in a, in, a, in a city folks you're always gonna need uh tiles like two by two tiles yeah <laughs> so they're kind of like the go-to ones to get uh let's place those in my bag yeah those uh let's go back to that as well have you always done your figures after your sets always don't know why but i've always done it yeah it's weird very weird but yeah i don't know why i do it i don't know why i do it I don't know if it was like from like as a kid, like I always enjoyed the minifigures so much. So I think I sort of saved them to the end. I, I don't know. I don't really know. These gold hill pieces are really cool. The, the extra. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They look really cool. Yeah. I really hope they use a. Uh, a gunmetal one for Darth Maul when he comes out, and if he's going to come out in that set that was rumored, the dual set with Ahsoka. That's the other thing is, uh, if you've got any of those Ahsoka figures, I'd sell them now because um, she's going to come out in that twenty pound set. Oh, I really? I reckon she'll come out in that twenty pound set, and yeah, it'll be um, that'll be good demand for her then. They'll be yeah, and she'll be cheaper to get, so the price of her will go down. I think I've sold about four of those for eighteen quid each time. Oh, wow! Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Um, I guess M Sig fig should be increasing. Yeah, I bet that's um, I bet that's a right. Uh, does he? Did he ever make Sig figs and sell them? Oh, did he? Yeah. I, I, I didn't know he even did those. I do, yeah, I don't know if he did or not. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> did Greg get distracted and is now shopping? I am. I am. Honestly, folks, I'm, I'm on the Lego side. What am I going to do? I've, I've, I'm going to buy the ATST Raider because I think I think that's 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 going to be a good little investment to get. And all I'm doing is just buying some tiles. Um, <laughs> Some the uh, the pick a brick store. I just picked them and then they, they all disappeared. Oh, here we go. Place pieces in your bag. There we go. That's what I need to do. So there we go. That's the thing, folks. Because that was the thing. I, I had um, <laughs> I, I had those. Uh, it was like the the ATSD rate is forty nine pounds ninety nine, and you got to pay three pound fifty for postage. So I might as well buy three pounds fifty worth of Lego and get it free. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. I mean, let's face it, the set, the figure alone is going to be worth a lot of money, but it's going to be worth even more with that set because she's she's never going to come back as a Mandalor in a Mandalorian set ever again. Exactly. Yeah. And I don't think they'll change the figure at all. They've got no need to. So <laughs> Ty, you know me so well. 
But yeah, I'm just buying that as an investment. That's all I'm getting it for. I'm looking, looking at building it. I say that, folks. We are going to build that one. Yeah. Uh, it's coming up in, in, it might be our next one. It might be the one after. Because a lot of people said to us yesterday that they'd like to see a Technics um, uh, face off, mm -hmm. uh, which is what we might do next. So let's do that. Uh, we, we say the word technics and then uh, who pops up? <laughs> Hot house. <laughs> oh. How you doing, Ali? Hey, Ali. How you doing, dude? <clears throat> right. Yeah, that's that. ATST race radar in the hat or in the bag, as they say, folks. It's so annoying because you know what the the promos coming in the next few weeks are going to be. They're going to be pretty good. It's going to be that Amelia Earhart one. It's rumored that it's going to be double VIP as well. So it's frustrating when you go and. Mm, it is luckily though. That's not. I mean, that's not a ridiculously expensive set. It's expensive, no. but it's not men, like mega men, mental. Yeah, but. But yeah, this, the sets is what it's all about, folks, because they'll go down. It'll just be one of those quirky things. She's going to get written out of it. Um, in fact, they don't. She's because she. I mean, she. I think she was going to fe start featuring in some of the other shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Must be something that goes on there. on top form today with this sticker application. <laughs> Ollie's finished work for the day. Nice dude, nice. Yeah. Uh, I have to get my hands on the Amelia promo, Brick Witchery. Yeah, me too. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to get some of the new Monkey Kid sets. I'm actually probably going to do a um, pro providing that that is the promo that comes out on march 1st i think i'm going to do another the hunt live stream uh stay up till 12 stay up till midnight and uh get some of the monkey kid sets um and hang out so if anyone's going to be about for that then uh yeah they're always good fun those are man yeah yeah i think it is a sunday night so i do appreciate those so. So what, what's what's this promo you're after then the amelia i think it's amelia earhart is it it's the plane she's the the oh. Pilot. The red plane, yeah. I think that looks a really, really nice set. So, I'm gonna try and get my hands on that. And when when is that promo going live? I think March first, with in line with the new releases. But I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, either way, I think I will be getting some of the Monkey Kid stuff day one anyway. So, um, Yeah, well, me too. I think they're they're quite good. And again, if you're if you're looking to buy Lego sets, either as an investment or just the exclusive sets, the direct to consumer sets, getting those promos, keeping them if you enjoy them, sell them if you don't, and you can make get a bit of money back. Um, it just makes it uh, more worth the while, I think. Yeah. So, are you building the big kind of top section at the back of the boat now, Greg? Is that what you? I, I will. I am in. Uh, I think I'm just about to start on that. I'm just. I, I'm two tiles. I've got two tiles spare. I'm thinking, okay. where do they go? <laughs> I'm just working now. They're going wrong with that. Cool. Uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, because with, with that Carla June, was she, that was the only set, wasn't it, that she came in? Yeah, it was. Yeah, she was rumoured to come in one of the uh, summer sets. So it'd be interesting to see what happens with that now. Um, yeah, they'll pull that. Ooh. Yeah. I just dropped a one by one tire oh, down the boat. But I can't put it upside down. Uh, let's see if I can get it out now. Here we go. Our survey says. Oh. <laughs> I might as well show you lot this while I'm here. But here we go. There's like the bathroom section. Uh, there you go. You can just make out the toilet the toilet roll there. Which is nice, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's pop them back in there. Right, you go. Right, okay, what are we up to now then? Bag number nine. Cool. Right, I'm just mute for a sec. No problem. Um, I still think the Sith Trooper Battle Pack would have sold much better if they would have included three Sith Troopers and the fourth could be another Sith Trooper or a Jet Trooper or Officer. Yeah, I agree. Well, even um, to have two Sith Troopers and one Jet Trooper in the Officer, I think would have done a lot better. Um, but yeah, just no one wants tons of those Jet Troopers, um, which was a real shame. And it's it sucks because um, Argos here do two for £15 on that particular Battle Pack. Um, so if that was a really good army builder, that would have been such a good deal. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, unfortunately it's, uh, it's, it's not too cool. So, uh, Hey doc, how you doing doc? Uh, he says, this is more my time slot, Greg. <laughs> um, Greg, do you know you're still muted? Greg, you're muted. <laughs> oh, I'll, do, I'll do that for the bags um, <laughs> Doc's proper West Coast but West Coast is even that's even longer than uh, than California isn't it I think Doc's a bit nocturnal isn't he he's a bit nocturnal yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey then Doc you all good mate Uh, it looks like this bag's going to be consisting of all the, the, the dragon heads. Okay. Um, we've got going on here. Oh. 2 p.m. and 2 p.m. EST time. Yeah. <laughs> Blimey, it's eight inches of snow where um, Doc is. Damn. Oh, California is West Coast time. Ah, cool. Morning, Brooksish. Hey, Brooksish. Right, let's get building. Okay. How are those stickers coming along? Yeah, so far so good. Um, I really should have done some of these last night. <laughs> Some of them are a bit awkward because they're inside the bills, so I'll probably leave them and pull the set apart one night in the week. But um... um, it's minus nineteen degrees in. Okay. MN is that Minnesota? That is cold. I mean, that's really cold. Mm -hmm. That's like you wouldn't bother going outside for that. No, I would not. You might as well stay in. Pop your telly on. 
or your uh, computer and uh, watch a bit of YouTube. <laughs> Hey, Jesse's Brick Galaxy. Yeah. Good to have you, Jesse. Brick Gal Galaxy. Brick has got rain. Hey, Jack, if we haven't said hi to you already, dude. Um, okay, what stickers can I do that I'm going to pull the rest of the set apart? Five places on blacksmith set to finish. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. Who's building that blacksmith set? Uh, Jesse's Brick Galaxy. Oh, nice. Have you enjoyed that set, uh, Jesse? Because it, it does look like a really good set to get. That's one on your list, isn't it, Greg? Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Gal Fabric says, I love solo stream yesterday. Not sure what was better, though. The conversations in the chat or on the panel. Yeah, that was definitely a uh, a uh, X rated one last night. Or, a... oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. I, was... I, do you know what? I, I looked for his stream initially, yeah, and it didn't, it didn't come up when we finished. Did he just start after we finished? I think it started about five, five, ten minutes before we ended. Oh, okay. Because I looked for it. I even went to his channel and he didn't come up that he was live. Oh, right. That's what Not on my feed anyway. Yeah. Um, and then I went and had some dinner anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and that's then... why I did. He, he sent me a link. I I don't think he actually sent me the link, but he asked me if I wanted to jump on and I said I would try to if I, if I finished dinner, but I was a bit tired from doing doing this one, so I just sort of hung out in the chat, but Cy was on. Um Miss Bricks was Miss Bricks of Fun was on, Cabbage was on. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's a good laugh. Yeah, that was always gonna be a bit X rated then. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay. I like the fact that they use golden bananas. Uh, monkey kick sets use gold uses golden bananas as well. Yeah, but like eyebrows and things like that. Yeah, some really good like part usages in those mechs, and the mm. <laughs> it all started with size lasagna. Yes, it did. So I, I got lasagna tonight, actually. <laughs> yeah, you won't want to read about that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Lovers lasagna. <laughs> oh dear, that went from bad. That went from bad to worse quite quickly. Did it? <laughs> that was it. Was all funny. It was all good and fun. Was, was Brixish anything to do with it? Ah, uh, was Brixish there last night? I don't think she was. Because she normally instigates all that sort of thing. I find. She, yeah, she usually is, but I think that I don't think she was there for that part. I missed the first bit of stream, like I said, because I was cooking and eating dinner. But um, but I don't think she was in the in the chat for that bit. Uh -huh. Can't blame Brixish for, for once then. No, no. Um, so Jack asked, how much have we both got left to build on the set? So I'm actually done building. Uh, I'm just going through. I've done the minifigs now. Um, I'm just going through and putting some of the stickers on. There's still quite a few to do, but a lot of them are like internal stickers. Um, so I'll pull the set apart one night in the week and do that. But, um, but Greg, how are you getting on with yours? Um, I'm on bag nine, but... I might end up finishing this off later on, maybe on high stream or something like that. I mean, I'm going to get, I think I'll probably get that down to bag 12. I think I'm not doing too bad. Yeah. Good, 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 good. I just keep chitty chatty with all the chat. That's all. That's about as focused as I can be. This is, but I'm building this dragon's head at the moment. It looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Proper, properly see that it's going to be uh, a cool looking dragon. Nice. So has it has anything been made official about them on that Carla June thing? I mean, they, I mean, no, be nothing's been said officially. Um, so yeah, my video was just pure speculation, but I just thought it was interesting that I stumbled across the fact that John Lewis 
had actually said it's very unlikely that they'll get more back in stock. Yeah. Um, because you think like the Mandalorian battle pack come out the same sort of time, and that's still being run. Um, as did the uh, Vader's castle, and that's still out. And I, we all thought that was going to retire at the end of last year. Um. So yeah, so it's just kind of a interesting speculate speculatory video that I kind of wanted to throw out. Yeah. And what did you do? Did you just did you just do all that last night, or did you? Yeah, like... yeah. I just uh, I re- I was writing a bit of a script um, when I was watching Solo stream, recorded it quickly, and then just chuck chuck the pictures on while I was uh, hanging out with Sands on on Twitch. So, right. yeah, because when I when I fired up my machine this morning, it said you'd only posted it two hours before then, so you must have posted it late. Yeah, yeah, I just scheduled it for the morning because I thought if I don't write it bang in the middle of the night, no one will see it. So I think I scheduled it for like seven or eight o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, it's just meant to be. A, yeah, it's just something I, I I saw and I picked up on, so I figured out. Yeah, that's a good one, mate. I'm not uh, usually a news guy, but because I stumbled across it, I thought oh, it'd be interesting to to see what people have to say on it and it, if it amounts to anything. Then... Uh, Lego Madness, it's got to go, guys. See you later, Lego Madness. I'll see you later, too. Top man, yeah. How much in the UK is that? Uh, Carla June going for now, then let's have a gander's because again, if that's going for 25 quid, you'd be crazy not to go on the Lego site and just buy it. By the set, you could buy it all out, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Let's have a look more options. Okay, so there's currently none in the UK on Brooklink. New. Interesting. Um, let's go. Ooh. And there's currently none in the UK used either. Wow. Well, that's interesting. Because you know what? Here's the thing for Bricklink anyway. If Lego decide that they don't want to sell it, they do have the power to override anyone selling it on Bricklink. Well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, that is really strange that there's not one. There's not that many being listed on Bricklink. Okay, so the cheapest in America new is £16. And then it goes like 18. Um, There's something odd going on with that then. Yeah. France. So that's the, so other than the US and Canada, France is the, probably the closest place to us. That's 2166 uh, or 2180 new. Uh, Germany have got one for 25 pound. Portugal, 26. Switzerland, the Netherlands, 28. So yeah, so that's uh it's creeping up, man. Yeah, that's, and there's not many of them, which is surprising. So unless the set just doesn't have good part out value, um, especially since the Mandalorian has come in other sets, and now we've got the update of Beskar Mandalorian, there's not a great deal of uh, demand for multiples of that set. Yeah, but you see, the counter to that is is that now we're just going to get the the latest edition of the Mandalorian all the time with his new armor. Yeah, there is going to be those that say, "Well, I need the first one." That's always yeah, going to be. That is very to, true. To go a year down the line now, or two years down the line, people say, oh, I've got the new Mandalorian. I've got my first Mandalorian set. It's got his new Beskar armor. And then yeah. straight away, think, oh, I need, to get the, I need to get the first one. Yeah. Yeah. And I figure, like, I'm looking at the box now. If you were, like, a mock builder and you wanted just to, like, sell the figures, I imagine, in, like you said, in a couple of years, Cara June will be 30, 40 quid. The Mandalorian will, once the Razor Crest is retired, will go up to sort of 15, maybe 20. Um, so then you've already made your money back. And then you've got a load of parts to use for mocks because there's they're all dark gray part, a lot of dark gray parts in there. So um, a couple of those dark red tiles. 
um yeah i mean for me good parts yeah it could be worth keeping the parts and just sell them as a, so as a mini yeah 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 there's a few tiles and bits and pieces in there the wedge plates are always good so yeah so that might be an option and also as well you could um swap out the red that's in there and um make it a proper imperial one again yeah yeah you could yeah Yeah, because I don't care too much for the other two. The um, oh, they're just fillers. Guards, uh, yeah, get the name of them now. Yeah, oh. uh, they're just ugly guards from what I remember. Clatoonian guards. That's it. Yeah, the prints are quite cool for like to have a different species, but the outfits are pretty much the same. The legs are the same. I think the face prints look the same. So it's just two different helmets um, and a slightly different torso print. But... Um... Uh... Jack says the Platinum... Platinum, is that how you pronounce it? Raiders are underrated figures. Okay. okay. All right. Um... I really need to pick up the ATSD raid at Lego Boy. I would do it sooner rather than later, do because it is sold out everywhere by Lego.com. Um, and it's already starting to go up on places like eBay and things like that. So if you genuinely want that, dude, I would jump on that real quick. Yeah, and that's literally happening while we're online as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the sooner you jump on that, dude, the better and the cheaper you'll get it for. Otherwise, that's going to be one that you'll pay ridiculous amount for, or you just we'll miss out on it unfortunately okay i think i am um... hey lego boy yeah I, I would definitely go for it lego boy uh, it says my target has four or five of them currently for 40 dollars yeah, I would I would jump and go try try run out and go get one of those because forty dollars. God, that's like thirty quid. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a good price. I said the figure will be worth that in a couple of weeks. Well, that's the thing. The figure is worth around that, isn't it? It's, it's kind of yeah. weird. Right, I've got the dragons done. Nice, the dragon heads. Here we go. Oh, they look sick. Yeah, I, I love the look of those. That's, I think, the biggest appeal to that set to me is, is those. Yeah, they look so cool. Look at those folks. Is there any reason why they have two in that one and not in on the other one? Or is... I don't know. It's, I think it's one of those things with the, the film licensing. I think everything has to be sort of twenty percent dif difference, doesn't right. it? Yeah. and that's an easy one it's like well they've got one head on there it's got two heads on there or something like that yeah um is uh is there any difference between the two or are they identical uh, they're identical but they're really well put together you can change yeah. them around slightly you know you can put they've got like horns and stuff like that you can kind of yeah. uh maneuver them slightly different Uh, my cousin has one. I was going to try to buy it off him. Nice. Um, I don't own them, but people never seem to talk about them, and they have fairly cool prints. Yeah, the prints aren't bad. Um, it'd been cool if they'd actually changed them up substantially or put like different face prints and stuff. I like getting different alien face prints or different alien head molds. Yeah. In Star Wars. Um, but but yeah, no, they they seem okay. They seem okay. Um. I was going to buy another one the other day. Wish I had done now. Yeah, yeah, Brix is just. Uh, yeah, Brix is a big Star Wars fan. Um, I would. Uh, yeah, if you're still thinking of doing it, I'd do it. Uh, 
pretty popular. Some of my Argos aren't selling them. I think they're sold out. Oh, okay. Because and then they're they're kind of re restocking, aren't they? Because everyone's getting ready for the new sets coming out in yeah. March. Is there any particular set that you really want to get on that first of March? Monkey Kid, the Flower Fruit Mountain, for sure. Um, and then I'll probably get the Arachnid base. Uh, if the Demon Ball King's back in stock, then I might get that, because then I've got all of the first wave. Um, and then uh, maybe like the dragon, the dragon one as well, the dragon... I can't remember what it's called exactly. But yeah, I might get that. Because I think that's pretty cool. If it's double VIP points as well, then I'll definitely get a few. Mm. Um, do some live streams of that. I think me and Claire are going to do a live stream together with uh, with uh, with one of them. So that that's should be it. good fun. Yeah, that'd be good, mate. That will be. Yeah. What's... Um... Yeah, what I... Do you think they'll do double VIP points on March the 1st for everything, or is that just going to be for selected sets? I don't know. I thought that was the rumour, but maybe I'll be wrong. I don't know. I, I can't remember when they did them last year. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I can't think of when they've done them last year. So, yeah, just have to be on the lookout, I guess. Yeah, let us know what you think, folks. Is it for March the first? Is there anything you're thinking of maybe getting as well? Yeah, because what else have we got coming out March first? There's a couple of Star Wars sets. We've got the Imperial Shuttle, um, the Microfighter Jewel Pack. You got those um, the four bus sets, haven't you? Mm. The Resistance uh, X Wing. I'm not. I'm not that Star Wars wave though, are you? No, I'm not. I don't care for it really. I might get the uh the microfighter dual pack if I see it on uh mm. on this on clearance or something down the line. But yeah, um, I don't think I'll get the Imperial Shuttle either. Um it's a little bit small. Um yeah, I'm not really fussed for it. The figures aren't outstanding. Um and yeah, I d yeah, I definitely don't care for the four plus one. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same as you, mate. The um, Ninjago wise, um, yeah, their sets are okay that are coming out. I think they're all right. But I don't know. The legacy sets, the ones that are co kind of the most recent legacy sets, seem to be quite good ones for me. Yeah. And they're discounting at the moment, which is great. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Jack says, I thought with Argos they weren't selling any Lego because it isn't essential, which is why a fair amount of it was on sale. Not as far as I'm aware. I think they were just, I thought they were just clearing it um, off their site, like Greg said, to kind of make room for for more stuff. But I could be wrong. I know that's the case in Wales. You can't go and buy like clothes or toys and stuff in, like, in supermarkets. But in the... Um, in England, I know that's not a problem. Um, I don't know about Scotland. Um, Brit Witchery, I've got to go because it's 1 a.m. here. Thanks for the stream, guys. Thank you for wow. coming out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, thank you, Brit Witchery. And we'll catch you very <laughs> soon, I'm sure. Uh, British, I'm definitely getting the Star Wars Microfighter set, but I do like that Monkey Kid Mountain set. Yeah, the Monkey Kid Mountain is wicked. I think that's one of the best sets that are coming out, and, and that's coming from an Injago fan, folks. <laughs> yeah, I really do like that. Um, so I can't remember. there's six monkey figures that you get are just so cute. Um, cute. <laughs> I love, I love so, what, uh, what are the figures that you get with that set, and how many, how big is that set, and how, how, um, how much does it cost? So the price has got nine on it, Thomas. Price hasn't been confirmed yet. I can't remember if it was meant to be about two hundred pound, um, but I think wow. it's about two thousand pieces. Okay, yeah, that's going to be uh, a good hundred and sixty at least. Yeah, well, this is nearly two thousand. This is one hundred and sixty. So yeah. I would imagine it would be one sixty, one eighty, something like that. So you get, uh, you get six. You get the monkey kid, the monkey king, and then you get six like uh monkey characters with uh 
with all different prints and and things they look just they just look really really good and i think it's like slightly modular in the sense that you can kind of take it apart and restyle it to how you want oh um, yeah so i like the, the, perch, the perch on it for the monkey king himself i think that looks good yeah the only um the only monkey kid sets that lego have actually put details out for was the quadcopter um so that could be good yeah that does look nice everyone says about them being compatible with these containers but i don't think it is like because these aren't really meant to be pulled off like um i think they, they, it's just like a similar design because I, I think you can pick up the uh containers that come with the quadcopter um but i don't think they're actually compatible i think they just look similar but um yeah have you considered doing the um the mosaic greg have you seen the mosaic that you can if you upload a photo mm. to Lego for 100 quid you can get yourself uh made into a mosaic i want to do that but i like i, like, I wouldn't mind doing that on like a meetup or something like that and a bunch of us just jump into the uh that would be pretty cool yeah yeah that would be cool um, are you thinking of doing it because I, I know you're a big mosaic fan mate i am yeah i don't think i'll do it only because you i think you only get like four colors um it comes on a base plate i believe so i i don't know i don't think if i i don't think i can see a hundred pounds worth of value in it mm. um i think i'd much rather spend the money designing my own um but yeah we're just kind of have to wait and see um yeah, the Demon Ball King's still on back order, so I'm hoping that um, becomes available again before. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that, because that's a mech, isn't it? Um, oh, no, it's not. It's a creature. It is a creature, isn't it? It is a creature, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the Monkey King mech, obviously, he jumps in that so he can combat the, the Demon Ball King. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, it's not technically a mech, but it's got all the functionalities of a mech. Um, and it does look epic. Um, yeah. It was, uh, do you know what? This was actually one of my favorite sets looking at it. So I don't know why it's the last one that I'll be picking up. <laughs> but hey ho. Yeah, but it can go like that sometimes, can't it? You just, yeah. Sometimes just availability. Yeah, well, I think I was looking at um, so, so I got a few of the sets for like Christmas birthday presents. Um, and I've got I bought a load last year, um, and I was working it out so it's like just hit 200 pounds. So I was getting the VIP, the, the two promos, the VIP brick and the Charles Dickens promo. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just hitting 200 every time, and it just so happened that it didn't really work out with, with any of them to to hit sort of bang on so i left the two mechs um to get to last um and then i picked up the monkey king warrior mech because i thought it was gonna we were gonna do that but then it was on back order so we weren't gonna get it and then it come anyway so that was a that was a whole thing but yeah so yeah just that one to get and then i've got the whole monkey kid wave which is awesome that monkey king mech is pretty cool so here's a question for you then. What set would you recommend people get if they discount the first wave or the second wave as well of Monkey King? And then you've got the the new the new wave that comes out and they're mm. they're just normal price, normal retail price. Uh, would you recommend people get the first and second wave before then? I would, yeah. I think the standout ones for me. I think Pigsy's food truck looks a lot of fun. Um, um, Pigsy is such a funny character, um, and the truck is wicked. And the stud shooter on the pig on the on the top of the truck is just amazing. <laughs> um, and you get a couple of the you get Pigsy, obviously the the monkey kid. You get um, you get a couple of the the brutes and that. So uh, and a couple of bikes. So that could be a lot of fun. I think the Demon Ball King the team hq and the warrior mech are the big ones though i think um mm. if they reduce those then they'd be i think they're a good 
they are expensive, but they are a good price as they are. So if they went cheaper, then for sure, I think jump on those. Um, yeah. It, so Doc asked for a hundred pounds. Do you get the instructions for the mosaic as well? I don't know. That's a good question. Because okay. that makes it kind of worth it. Or do they just really make it for well, you? I don't know. I think they would probably just print a large picture of the mosaic and then do the color like do the like it's like almost like paint by numbers isn't it where they put the number in the in the tile kind of thing yeah um or send it built and held with craggle <laughs> um yes yeah, so i don't i don't know about that doc with the with the instructions but yeah it is it is about 100 quids i think uh jack's waiting for the new jurassic sets which have uh, had rumored set numbers, but no rumored release date. Okay, I imagine if there would still not been any rumors or leaks or anything, then they'll probably be like June time. Um, oh, Doc, it, uh, Jack says it says you print the instructions yourself. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So they send you the instructions in like a PDF format. Uh, well, by the look of it, the instructions are just a picture of your finished model. Oh. <laughs> So nothing too creative there by the looks of things. Uh, let's, I think there's still a few weapons I need to do here. How many stickers did your set come with, mate? There is... One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-three. Amazing. Oh, I think this one comes with about eight. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad at all. No. Oh, that makes me want to buy that set even more now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there really, there really are very few. Got a nice yeah. print that I've spotted, actually. Someone out there might be able to tell me a bit more what this is all about. Looks like something to do with Master Wu. I'm, I'm saying that. I could be. Yeah. Apologies if I'm holding it upside down as well, folks. But um, nice. I think that's something to do with Wu. We've got storm chicken in the house. I like yeah. storm chicken. Welcome to the street, my friend. Yeah. If anyone new out there who's just tuned in, do us a favour, give us a thumbs up and check out check out my mate over here, Tech Productions. Uh, I want to try and get him help him get to a thousand subscribers this month. Uh, yeah, I think I'm about fifty or off, fifty one subscribers off. So hopefully, uh, hopefully a couple of live streams, a couple of uploads this week won't be too far away by the end of the month would be nice yeah awesome man well deserved as well dude thank you because i tell you the, the nearer you get to it the, the it, it really does come around really quick yeah Getting stickers on this little mini mech i think what's the mini mech like it's not too bad actually. It's even got like the it's also got like a miniature staff that like the monkey kid has, and he just kind of that's yeah, not too bad. It kind of reminds it would it would combat the um those Marvel ones quite well, I think. It's that kind of size. Yeah. Um but yeah, no, it's quite nice. Quite a few stickers on it. So just, Is it meant to be like a mini monkey king mech? I don't th I'm not really sure. I mean it's got the staff. I haven't seen it in the show yet. So, um, I suppose it is meant to be kind of his uh, monkey kids kind of version, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Like I said, a few stickers, which is a bit inconvenient, but uh... <laughs> Storm Chicken says I could try to make fifty accounts as much as that would be appreciated. Um, I think YouTube uh, ends up taking a lot of those down if you do that. So, um, <laughs> so, so maybe not. Oh, thank you, those don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, doesn't it grow in the show to giant size? I don't think Monkey Kids Mech does. Uh, Monkey King does. I don't think Monkey Kids Mech. Monkey King, Monkey King Mac is in the uh, is in the pilot. Doc, have you seen the show? Be interested to know. 
Where, how are you watching them at the moment? Just on YouTube. Uh, okay. Is that on the Lego one, or is it just people uploading? Oh, just someone's uploaded it. Yeah. There's, there's some. I think. I think it. It's in seven twenty p at the moment, so it's not. Oh, that's awful. It's not yeah. awful quality. Yeah, I saw the. Oh, he saw the show. Yeah. What did you think, Doc? What was your opinion? I thought the episodes after the first one are a bit short, so it doesn't feel like it doesn't hugely push it along, but I do enjoy it. I think it is good fun, and I did catch myself laughing at times, so it can't be all bad. <laughs> but that's the thing, though, but it helps you immerse yourself in, yeah. in, in the sets, I think. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I see the, especially like the, the racing one, me and Chris will talk about this, the one where they do like, the street race, and you get like the, where the majority of these sets are based from. You're like, okay, now I really want to build those because that looks like a lot of fun, sort of thing. So, um, so are you saying, in other words, then, are you kind of implying that these sets are really no more than TV adverts? Like the t the, the cartoon is a TV advert for these sets. You definitely, there is definitely times where you uh, look at the um, the first episode in particular, and you're like, okay, there's a lot of sets based on. There's a lot of sets that come out of this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose that. Yeah, that that uh, the dragster race one as well was um, was a little bit like that. But uh, but no, I think it was. Uh, I think they were all. If they were, if they were NAF sets or based off of NAF things, then I, I would be a bit more. Um, I think I'd have a bit more of a problem with it. But they've actually done well with them. I think so. Yeah. Hey, Brick Clicker. Hey, Brick Clicker. How you doing, mate? This is I I subbed on like five already. Laugh out loud. Oh, that's one chicken. Top man. Yeah, I'd be super proud of you, mate, when you hit that thousand. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, won't be too far away. I'm still quite a way off the watch time and stuff, though. So, um, I'll start doing a few more streams and things, get that up. But yeah, well, you got that. You got this. If anyone just tuning in, he's going to hopefully be doing some afternoon streams coming up this week. Yep, I got the ATS, uh, the ATAP, sorry, to build. I've got actually got two of them, so um, I might, if I get home early enough, I'll start it and do try build both of them. If not, I'll build one and then build the other one on like, cooling or something. Um, and yeah, and then I've got Monkey Kid stuff, so that'll be uh, probably the week after next, maybe. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's loads of Monkey Kid stuff. To be well, you have the review of this coming out as well. And yeah, that'll be coming out. Um, yeah, one day next week, not this week coming up, next week. Yeah, uh, that's a nice thing with this though, when you're doing a review. So anyone who's just tuned into this, we do the we, one of us does the stream and we do the build, and then the other one, uh, does, we, we do the review together, and the other person gets that. So that's kind of how this collab works. Yeah, yeah, it works well. I like it. I still can't get over the artwork and stuff just on these instructions. Like the little thing, like probably use up less paper, but just things like that. It just looks really cool. There's a sticker there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the animation style is a breath of fresh air after the stale Ninjago and Marvel and Star Wars type of animation. I definitely agree with that. I, really yeah, I, I don't mind the animation at all, on it. I think the animation is good. Yeah, it's nice to have something different. Yeah, what's the animation style that they've gone for? It's, um, it's Anna, called... Yes. Uh, I'm assuming it's anime, not manga. I don't actually know the difference between the two. But yes, yeah, it's, it's anime um it's obviously really popular in in asia so yeah what is it does anyone in the chat uh doc you might know this because you're quite creative 
Um, oh, I dropped a dropped something there. It fell down. There it is. Uh, Doc, yeah. What is the difference between anime and manga? Because to me, they look quite similar. But is it, is it presumably it's the way they're drawn or something like that? Oh, okay. Manga is a comic book, pen and paper. Uh, anime is animated manga. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Okay, brilliant. Ah, learned something today. That's nice. Um, Storm Chicken, like oh, sorry. Uh, Storm Chicken says, I'm influencing my friend to start a channel so we can do collabs like this. That's nice, dude. That's uh, <laughs> that's one of the most that's one of the most enjoyable things I find with having like a leg YouTube channel is being able to hang out with people, do collabs, and things like that. Like, um, it's nice to uh, nice to mix it up and just generally chat and hang out with people, like minded people. That's fun. Um, yeah, I've built the. Uh, it's all. Uh, it's all built brick clicker. Got it in the back here. I've done some of the stickers. Uh, still need to do a few more, but yeah, a lot of them are done. I'm gonna try not to drop it. But yeah, there it is in all its glory. Yeah, let's make it big. So I've show. done all the stickers on this side, so it looks complete. <laughs> it looks funky. Yeah, uh, it's wicked. Like I said, you don't really like, even on there. It doesn't look huge, but you get it in hand, and it is it's a big old ship. Yeah, I really like that man. It is wicked. Sweet. Um, Doc says his uh, manga is coming up. Love that yeah. there. Check. Check the chat. Uh, did you see the conversation Block UK did with it to fit in her city? No, I've not seen that yet, Doc. Okay, let's check that out. She turned the container into apartments. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, that is cool. Was there a film that did that? I don't know. Yeah, something like Go Player One or something like that. It's called. Okay. Brickhilker says that looks so good. I'm gonna have to buy it now, dude. You don't want to miss out on it. It's cool. Like I said, I really don't stand. I don't really don't. Wouldn't hold out much hopes for it floating. But um... <laughs> maybe one day we'll do a float test. <laughs> yeah, that could be the tiebreaker on our. <laughs> which will last better? Which will last longer in the water? Yeah, I really don't. Really don't hold out much hope for that one at all. Because, like I said, this one's its designed to um, to kind of open out into a proper big place set. So you really, um, you really aren't going to. Uh, really isn't built to uh, to be on water for set at least. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, Doc says Ready Player One. CB Bricks, any recommendations for the what, first Wave of Monkey Kids set? Um, and what's your opinions on Wave Two? So Wave Two, if I'm not mistaken, was the White Dragon horse bike, the Roadster, and the Flame of Foundry. Um, I I really like the Flame of Foundry, but I know the general consensus is that the second wave was naff in comparison to the mm. the first wave. Uh, oh, sorry, it wasn't the White Dragon horse bike. It was Sandy Speeder. Uh, so it's the Flame and Foundry, Monkey Kids, Cloud Roadster, and Sandy Speedboat, I think. So, um, yeah, I would definitely say that there's better sets in the first wave, depending on what you're looking at. Um, I mean, to get Sandy um, in the Iron Ball Tank for 40 quid is pretty good uh, if you're going for, if you want to just kind of test the water a bit. Uh, Pigsy's food truck at 55, I think, is is a wicked set. And you could, mm. it's possibly like the <laughs> least monkey kid one. Like you could get away with putting that against some other themes and it and it wouldn't like be, it wouldn't massively stand out. I mean, it's a, still a huge build and the massive pig might be, uh, that might be a bit off-putting. But I think you could convert that quite easily into a car if you ended up not liking it. Um but other than that, I think having the two mechs or 
the Monkey King Warrior Mech and the Demon Ball King fighting off, I think, would be pretty cool. But um, I'm I'm a big fan of the the black and the orange uh, of any of the uh, the Demon Ball King, uh, the Red Sun's Inferno truck, Flame and Foundry. That's what I really like. Um, so that's what I would gravitate towards if I wasn't getting them all. I think. But yeah, I, to be honest, I, I, I'm maybe looking at this with a slight bias, but I don't think <laughs> you can go wrong with too many of them, really. I mean, even the even the Brickheads is pretty sick. Uh, okay, so that's what I'm building at the moment then, is Wu's Dojo. Okay. Makes sense, because I, I'm just looking ahead, I can see weapons. I'm going to be installing some weapons in this room. Would you recommend skipping wave two and go straight to wave three? Yeah, if you're not completionist, then I would probably hold out for wave three. Um, because I think for the most part, I'll just double check. So Sandy Speebo, I think you can get all the characters in wave three. Monkey Clear Kids Cloud Road. So, okay, so there's quite a few exclusive figures in that one. Is there? Um, I think, yeah. I think the two side characters and then the two other, like, side villains, I think, are exclusive to that set. I'm just going through and looking now. Um, yeah, I think you'll be able to pick up. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh yes, yeah, so if you're if you like exclusive figures, I think the roadster is probably one of the better ones to get. But, but yeah. Just in peace. It's just so cool. Just so good. <laughs> what well, what is your favorite figure out of out of them all, mate? I do like I do like the uh, the monkey kid. I really like his jacket. Um, mm. I do like the red like print over his eyes. Um, I think that is just a really good mini fit, like standard mini figure. Um, but I think when I actually have all the sets built, I think it would be the Spider Queen or the um, oh, what's her name? What's her name? I can't think of her name now. The Spider Queen is the main villain, yeah? No, the Spider Queen is a bit of a side villain. I've only seen her in one episode. I don't... Uh, one episode, I think. Um, so I don't know really how she links into the the rest of the story. Um, so that'd be interesting. But she is in the sets with the mobile uh, HQ set. And I don't know if that's based off the first season or the second season or... Or what? Yeah, that's because I haven't quite finished season one. So, uh, what's the figure called? Where is she? Uh, oh, Princess Iron Fan. I think she's a really cool figure as well. So, yeah, mm. between Princess Iron Fan and the the Spider Queen, I think will be my will be my two choices for figures. You said the figures on that one aren't. Uh, you're not too keen on, are you? No, I like the figures that come in your in the boat that you built on this one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, that's, that's all of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I says May is quite good. I I do like the print on her helmet. That's really cool. Yeah, so that's nice. Um, and you get the uh. You get the hair piece as well with me, which is cool. Um, it's nice to get an alternative print to Pigsy, although I think he can he comes in a cheaper set now um, than this one. Um, but yeah, I think the cheapest set you can get in Monkey Kid. Is, I think the first cheapest one is going to be obviously the poly bag. Yeah, Monkey Kid on that with his bike. <clears throat> and it still comes with that decent print as well, like. Um, uh, I forget what he, uh, people think it's a menu or something like that, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Hey, sorry. 
And uh, Chi says, uh, me has a nice jet ski. <laughs> yes, she does. Um, oh, very cool. I like that a lot. Uh, I think, yeah, I think Monkey Kid comes in every set. Oh, really? Yeah, Monkey Kid does. Um, yeah. So we will be going for about another 10 minutes or so, and then uh, I think Brick Hive will be streaming. So uh, we'll yeah, you can be over there. How are you getting on with your build so far, Greg? I am. I'm going to finish the dojo. I've got literally. I just need a few more minutes, and I think that will be finished. Awesome, awesome. So that'll be as far as I get to. This is basically the, the, the rear section of the ship. Nice flowery piece there as well. A bit of shrubbery, very in. Lego seems to be pushing shrubbery into most of their sets at the moment. They do. They do. Uh, that, that plane? Uh, Jack says he wants the sandy big fig. Yeah, big fig's wicked. Yeah, because I was thinking about buying that separately, but then I'm sort of thinking, well, I do fancy that big boat. Yeah. That's a wicked looking figure, isn't it? Oh, yeah. he's blue. Yeah. I thought he was purple. <laughs> Why do I think he's purple? Light bluish colour, yeah. Yeah, he's wicked. A big beard, big necklace. Yeah. Jewel moulded uh, uh for the for his trousers. Jewel moulded trousers? Uh, well, dual molded, as in like the body is different from the from the oh. leg, because uh, the body is a one piece. But he's got some nice printing down the side and stuff. But, yeah, he's quite a unique looking chap, isn't he? Yeah, I think the I don't think so. I think the beard is dual molded. Hey, Lando. Yeah. I think all the details, I think the orange beard and uh, mohawk is actually orange plastic. And I think the necklace is also pink plastic as well. So it's all uh, separate, mo like a separate molding. It's not printed. So I think the only printed parts are his face and the the small bits on his, uh, on the side of his trousers, which is pretty cool. Okay, so monkey kid aside then, uh, actually, who, who do you prefer, Monkey Kid or Monkey King? Who's your favourite figure? And let me know what you like at their thing as well. Who would you, who's your favourite figure, the Monkey Kid or the Monkey King? The Monkey King figure is pretty cool. I, he is very cool. I don't know. I like the style of Monkey Kid, though. I like I like his jacket. I like his headband. Like I think he is pretty cool. So you can relate to him then, yeah? Yeah, I feel. Yeah, I feel. I would wear that jacket. Like you know how they've done the like, Ninjago hype clothing. If they were to release the Monkey King jacket with a big monkey on the back, like I would be all over that. I would wear that. Would you? Would you yeah. wear it if it was like that sort of silky, yellowy kind of? Yeah, yeah, with some black trousers and a black t-shirt. That would look sick. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude. In that case, folks, next Valentine's Day, you're still going to be single. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Uh Storm Chicken is planning on a streaming later too. Awesome dude. If I can uh, try and make that, then I will uh check that yeah. out. Storm Chicken, what, what are you thinking of building in your stream? And whereabouts are you from as well, Storm Chicken? Are you um UK, America, Europe? Whereabouts are you? Where do you where do you dwell? She says about Mohawk Cat as well. I think Mohawk Cat is in the Oh yeah, yeah. He is, he... That's Sandy's cat, isn't it? Yeah. They've got matching mohawks. So. In the cartoon, hasn't Sandy sort of taken a, like a pledge to never be violent again or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, he was, um, yeah, he's like built up as this big intimidating guy and then like quite quickly as like massive softy with a cat. And <laughs> uh, Storm Chicken's from London. Huh. Um, so to me. Good stuff. Hello, Land of Sweet. How are you doing? Just wanted to say hi. Can't stay. Hope you have a great day in stream. Thanks, Lando. You too. If you're um, streaming as well, have a good stream. Otherwise, if you're 
spending lots of time getting through all your Valentine's Day cards like me and uh, Tech have been. Tech's going to take a couple of hours out later. Maybe we should do a Valentine's card opening stream. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, a t that's called a 24-hour stream, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Joking, joking, of course. Uh, Jack says, I want Pixie, and then I'm going to call him Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> He does have a bit of a Gordon Ramsay. My thing, so I really like the Pigsy figure. I think they could have put a couple more prints on him because he's almost got like some stubble in the show. That would have been cool just to have a couple of bits of print. But you take the hat off and he looks quite weird. <laughs> I think the head shape of him is just really weird. But it's cool that they put a stud on top so they could change the hat over. But yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely quite funny. Um... But the alternative print is is nice. I do like that. I'll tell you what, this has got some seriously good technique in this. Yeah. I mean, that, that is a weird looking bit of Lego that I've constructed there. <laughs> but what it does is it fits perfectly in the back. Yeah. And let me just pop it in there together. Um, there we go. Ooh, just popped out. Put that in there so you get a rough idea there we go it's quite tight it's a good fit put it that way yeah so it kind of makes up that nice into the dojo room nice all right Got a few more bricks for a few more minutes yeah no problem uh storm chicken says i'm planning on building some mocks with my friends nice nice okay cool um, Tech, didn't you say you were looking at getting a cat? Absolutely not, no. Uh, but my friend's got a cat recently, um, and it's really, really cute. So, it's... Okay, Jack, Jack has asked, can you put hair on Pigsy? So you can't put Mia's hair piece on Pigsy. And I don't think you're going to be able to put... Oh, you're so close to being able to put Monkey Kid's hair on him, which looks... Hilarious. In fact, if you put a stud on, you might. <laughs> Come on, let's do some mocking. This, this could be really funny. Hang on. Custom monkey kidding. That's a stream I bet no one's ever seen before. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Show us this. Come on, take. <laughs> okay, so if you put a stud on his head, you can give him. <laughs> Really, really, really hope this focuses. Oh my oh. god, a hairy pig! There you go, That's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That's so funny. Let's see if uh, Mia's hair works. Okay, Mia's hair still doesn't work, but Monkey, if you got some like uh, some fairly generic hair pieces, they do kind of took that is absolutely brilliant. Pigsy with monkey kid's hair is jokes. I absolutely love that. Go get, get a picture of that. That's so funny. What is the Spider Man set? The Lego Spider Man set that comes with um, the 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 pig, the spider pig. I'm not sure. There is one. There is a set with the pig in it, isn't it? Well, no, I don't. when I when you say spider pig, I think um, like Porky Porky Tim Parker. <laughs> no, from oh, Enter the Spider. Yeah, Spider-Man. yeah. I, I have heard of that. Sai will know about that. Um, so if you're still out there, what's that set? I'm, I'm sure there is one because that would be a good minifigure to get. Yeah. Uh, I'm only thinking about that because we've been talking about Pigsy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the designer of eight zero zero one three, which is the boat um is a designer for ninjago series that's good to know mm. um i love his favorite hey, revolution that's funny yeah hey Re revolution how you doing we're just about to start uh wrapping things up here uh cv brick says the venomosaurus oh um, yeah that looks like a good set it happens mm -hmm. um is that the big venom mech with spider jet well, I've not got too much more to do. I've got number three bags to do. That's all right. And then I'm done. But um, show a quick flash through of what we've done today, Tech. Yeah. I mean, you've finished. Um, I've, yeah. I've kind of fouled because I've got three more sets. I mean, I would carry on ordinarily, folks. 
Um, and later on, we might, we might pop in. I might even pop in on Hive Stream. Uh, I need to go have some lunch or something like that first. But this is a lovely big set. I will say that. Um, and you know, thank you for all being here as well. It's, 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 it's been lovely. This has. I've really enjoyed it. It's so, uh, and let us know as well, folks, if you like us streaming at this time of day on a Sunday. You know, does it work for you? Do you like it? Uh, it's a bit of an odd time for us. It's kind of like even here nor there sort of time, but. It's a been really nice, enjoyable time to actually do this, isn't it, Tech? Yeah, yeah, no, it's been good fun. Cool. Good time. So, did you um, you've, you've kind of shown us what well, you finished, didn't you? You finished everything. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, so uh, I finished it off now, um, and I've put the stickers on the left hand side, the side I'll show you. I've put the majority of the stickers on there. There's still some on the other side and the inside to do. Um, but man, I love this, and I'll open it up on the review. I won't do that now because I'm running out of space on the desk. <laughs> um, just been doing that and then uh finishing off the uh the uh oh, that's missing from there but yeah so uh i'm finishing off the figures and stuff like that so yeah i've done pretty well today and greg what about you how far have you uh well for me the final yeah i've missed you not being around at all bricks i was like i was like thinking to myself yeah like I think this morning, actually, I think I was thinking, I've seen Brixish for a little while. Yeah. Right, so what have I done? Right, so I've got a couple of bags left, folks. So I'm pr we're pretty much there. The, the thing I've built in the last bag or so has been uh, Master Wu's Dojo. So let's uh, do that. Apologies if, I, apologies if I haven't pronounced that properly, but there we go. There's the entrance to it there. Get a pretty good look at it. And if I just move that around there, you'll kind of see some weapons there on the side. Uh, and then if I just turn that around there you can see some more weapons just there as well it's a really intricate build if i turn it around it looks awesome you can see that there that, that is a fabulous amount of building it's very strong as well by the way uh and that obviously fits on the back I it roughly will go i won't put it there just yet anyway let me pop that over there let me show you the rest of the the build that i've done so we've done the side panel paneling today as well so we did that right there and obviously i did that on this side as well but the beautiful thing, and this is the thing I love about the uh, the, the boats, the Japanese Chinese boats, these dragon heads. I mean, look at them, fantastic! Yeah. And you've got like the the, the mouth. The mouth is actually built in the first couple of bags. I was sort okay. of wondering, what are they going to be? But and this all kind of does turn up. But you got that mouth there. Uh, or maybe I'll keep one open <laughs> and one closed, yeah. just to sort of show a little bit of difference there. But how good do they look? They look wicked. They look. Oh man, those gold pieces always look good when they uh, when they get you, used. And you'll you'll love the mech for that. And there we go. There's Master Wu's bed. Now, just anybody who did who was watching yesterday's stream, but or had watched yesterday's stream. This here, this bed. I'll stand up. This is a bit easier. This bed here actually opens up. If I take that out, I'm just going to show you this because I actually thought this was quite this was quite a moment. I felt. Uh, there we go. If I take Master Wu here. He's a good lad. He always needs a little bit of snooze because he's getting on a bit, let's face it. It's for probably a few hundred years old. So you've got Master Wu there. Pretty cool looking figure, right? And this is the bed. You might be thinking, well, the bed, it's just an ordinary Lego bed. Greg, what are you going on about? Actually, <laughs> it's not. It opens up. There we go. Like that. So then what you do is, I'll stand up and do this. It's a bit easier. So you can all see. And there we go. Got Master Wu in there like that. And then uh, tuck him up in bed. And, uh, you know, tell me, show me a little story. They have a nice little snooze, 40 winks or something like that, <laughs> which is kind of cool, isn't it? I really like it, that. Yeah, it's just a really nice touch. It's complete, complete over detail, um, but it is a lovely detail nonetheless. And that's kind of a nice place to finish this stream. So mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you, uh, Tech, for being, for being on this stream. This impromptu stream. It really was an impromptu stream, folks. <laughs> Um, let us know what you guys and girls out there think about us sort of streaming around this time. Uh, Brick Hive's going to be kicking off. Oh, he's going to be kicking off around about now. So please, everybody, please do go over and watch Brick Hive stream. Uh, we love Brick Hive. He, he, he's a guy. I do a transatlantic live stream with him. You'll always find Tech and I hanging around either in the chat or um, or actually streaming with him on his channel as well. Um, but of course. Uh, I do want to say thank you to the, the likes of Will, Will Harper. Thank you for being in today, Will Harper. Brickso Studios, uh, Sai O'Connor, uh, Brick Revolution as well. Great to have you here. 
uh, Brick Witchery as well. She was in earlier on. That was cool to see her. The the the, the, the plastic architect. I mean, blimey, it was about one or what, one or two o'clock in the morning out there. Um, uh, was, who was that? Storm Chicken as well. Storm Chicken. Great to have you here. Another Londoner as well, which is always lovely to see. Gallifrey Bricks and CB Bricks as well, and all the way from Malaysia, uh, Chi Keen. Uh, which is great. So thank you, uh, Chief, for coming all the way from Malaysia. I will get out to Malaysia one day. Uh, and one day, one day, uh, we'll all be able to get out of our houses and uh, go for a nice drive somewhere, which would be good, wouldn't it? We're, we're in all this lockdown. So, but, no, uh, so thank you to everybody for being out there. Thank you, Tech. This has been a really fun, impromptu uh, stream. Do please check out Brick Hive's uh, channel, folks. He's a brilliant streamer. I love him to bits. He's so a good guy. Link in the chat there. So that's handy. So cheers for that, Sorry. Ah, oh, Tom Hanks. Right. So do, do follow that. Any, anyone who's um, who just popped in, please do uh, check out. Sio Con has just put the, the link to the stream in there. Uh, lovely to see you as well, Bricksish. Uh, thanks for that, Sio Connor. And always remember this, folks, at the moment. Stay safe. Keep those hands clean. Wear those masks and Lego. And Lego is a wonderful thing. And each and every one of you peeps out there are too. Take care, folks. And we will see you very, very